granite mansion. Of <laughs> what, even dragons? You kill dragons by just sticking your finger up their butt? There were no dragons to fight. Well, no, there was, but... So, I'm almost sad there wasn't. We ran. Oh, man, on good. one and on one. Stop. Right, go ahead, Rick. I'll go last. I don't have any more raises to spend. You, ha you have three. Pardon? You have three. Yeah, I yeah. spent the one You spent two. But you've not run away yet. Oh, okay. Then because you so as you spend raises, what we do in initiative is, or in action scenes like this, oh, is it's, okay. the most raises go first, and then whoever has the most raises next. And it's basically as you spend raises, okay, you drop in. Like initiative everyone order. else starts to act. Oh, okay. Right. Like initiative. So only. then I shoot the guy, and then I run. So you shot the guy, which yep. you've already done, and then you run. Yep. Are you just running? Or are you towards the docks? Like, trying to stealth your way through? Or are you going to try to get one of them to chase you? I'll try to get one of them to chase okay. me, yeah. Because that effectively loser. removes one from a fight. Okay, that's fair. All right? Purge and makes it wall. less painful for everyone else. Please. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to run straight with my sword straight out into the convenient three people standing right in front of each other. So, so there is a group of four <laughs> okay. oh. who <laughs> are on your sister. <laughs> like, so oh. four what do you mean by on four my of, sister? Four <laughs> of <laughs> the Duke's men, all right, trying to capture your sister. Because I'm with their friend. The and <laughs> six of the Royal Guard trying to capture the prince. Okay, well, clearly... My sister is more important, so I'm Thank gonna you. run towards her and the four people attacking her with my sword straight out, yelling. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, I'm gonna use hot headed. I'm gonna receive a hero point, and I'm like really angry. Okay. Four guys are attacking my sister. Okay. So I'm gonna act really stupidly and just. I'm gonna toss my dagger. I'm gonna toss my dagger to the side and just run. With my like, hold my sword with two hands and just run straight forward. And okay. Don't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's three on you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best to not hit her. How about you? On your last raise. All right. So I'm gonna talk to talk to the guards. I'm gonna say it's not too late. There's still time to save our future. You don't need this. This is the kid. Hmm? So much propaganda. Yeah, of course it is. It's not He's too a prince. Late. He's a politician, basically. Literally. A bad politician at that. Yeah. Awesome. What are you talking about? So, now the brutes go. Mm. Um, you take three wounds. Brutus. You take five wounds. Okay. I take zero. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because you killed all the ones on you. Oh, yeah. And, and you just ran extra. away. <laughs> you can hear sounds of fighting coming from inside the palace. It sounds like you know, the prince going, oof. Oof. Hmm? Oof. 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 No, well, not you. You ran away. Okay. Very pusillanimous, if you ask me. <laughs> Live to see another day. You just have to <laughs> run away. Skaven way? Pardon? The Skaven way. The Skaven way, yes. Hey, you can also just be amazingly good with a sword like me and kill people. So, my character is more of an orator rather than. So. Because <laughs> there are still brutes left. You, we now go to the top. Back to step one. You announce okay. your intentions. Very good. Start with Rich. He's already <laughs> run away. He's out of the fight. Oh, he's out of the fight. Okay. What's your intention there? Well, don't I have one chasing okay. me? Hmm? No. Okay. He, he's out the fight. Thing. Like you outrun him, but he's trying to chase after you. It doesn't matter. So he's he's got removed attacked. from the scene. Mm, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. Or from thing. the. I'm just gonna. Issue. Hit him again. Okay. So you're just gonna yeah, whip at them. You're not gonna try to intimidate them or the dick you know I use a different can. skill so that you get a bonus. Okay, you know what? All right, and this is why that using a different skill can be important. Yeah, but what's sorte again? I have sorte is magic. Magic. Is it time to magic? Sorte you? is you your school of magic. Well, I intend to yeah. draw my sword and fight back. Oh. <laughs> it's not too late. Yeah. Hey, they 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 heard me, and a couple of them withdrew, but the rest of them were fighting, so I'm gonna fight back. Yeah. So as you were saying earlier, like trying to intimidate them because you're a fate witch, that could be sorte. So did you like convince?
convince them to fight for you or is he convince them to walk away? <gasps> uh, it wasn't oh, clear, but I'm pretty sure they're just not fighting. Okay. So can I, can I like bless his sword? Yeah. Or his dagger? Yeah. Okay, I'll do Bless that. my sword. Okay. Well, my dagger has been tossed. Yeah, his dagger's no. over there. But you can bless him, yes? I'll bless... Oh, wait, him? It says when the... Uh, you bless a person? Can bestow a you've... weapon or a sword. Yeah. Blessing a curse. When she completes it, Yeah, she... so you pick a skill that he has. And then... A skill? Yeah, which... Is weapon sword. Weapon yeah, sword. Okay, right. so I'll bless that. <laughs> yep. Okay, awesome. Blessed. So I think we were all set on our intent. You're stabbing and you're stabbing. So, Yval, you do not get the benefits of your weapon school anymore. Oh, because yeah, your yeah. dagger is over there. I threw my dagger. Oh, yeah. I thought well, it was my maybe. fault. All right, no, his dagger is over there on the floor. Yeah, that, that was, that was just me being stupid. stupid. Yeah. He's real playing stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, please make your rolls. Okay, so, throw my pool. Sword. So, in your case, it will be. Uh, what is your sword? A weapon sword. But well, what is it? Uh, it is a great big broad sword. Okay, Duh. so it's brawn All right. as uh, opposed to um, finesse. Now, I don't get large for this, do I? It's lifting objects. Any physical rest that would benefit from your size. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, it does. Sure. Yeah. One for that. How do I... And I get one for using the skill for the first time, and then I get one because I've passed my first dramatic wound. So, um... Now, what was this about hero points? We can spend them to reroll. No, you can spend a uh, hero point to get a bonus d10. Oh, that I will do. You can spend a hero point to add three bonus d10s to another hero's roll before. Hmm. Um, he's he's defending his sister. I respect that. Go ahead, you all. Get another three d10 on me. Hell yeah. Thank you. I am a respectable person. Um, how do I, how do I, how do I do Very it? Good. So for you... Because uh, I think it's like wit. Almost evolved level. <laughs> it's wit plus sword yeah, tape. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Ooh. Right, because you're trying to do a blessing. Plus. Bonus. And how are you, what, it, how are you blessing? Like, we know how the Some mechanics are. Um, yes, I... Yes, obviously. I... They're, they're close right now. They're maybe yeah, close. like, because yeah. you ran yeah. over to save your sister yeah, yeah. from. Could be fighting back to back, could be nearby. I know this is. Wait, bless his. Do I bless his sword or do I bless you him? You bless him. Okay, you bless I'm gonna. Him a skill, but you bless him. I know this is really weird. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my forehead to the, like, to the back of his neck. Yep. So, like, yeah, yeah. The further away, and just, like. Just so you're, do... like, effectively behind him yeah. yeah but just like for like a few seconds and then like i like kind of say a prayer in my uh, head you so or or the what? blessing has to work uh you have to repeat their name three times okay and kiss them and then you must kiss them oh right yeah okay so i do that ennio 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 and then Beatles, i just kiss Beatles, the buckles yeah. and then i i love it Alright, so we I roll have our dice now. Bonus for that. What do I get for that? What do you do? Hmm? What, what do I get for being blessed? Uh, so you so get. Before we do it. Yeah. Yeah, you don't roll your dice quite yet. You get to roll yeah. your dice. Oh, hold on. Because this will probably cost okay, you all of your rings. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Like, so yeah. let's say new, and then do I get a description? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is one of the few times it's going to go out of sequence mm. because you basically are doing something that you spent Sexism. all of ah, your no, dice three. on. Okay. Three? Yeah. You get three bonus dice. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Nice. And you don't have 14. any success. <laughs> Great. It's neat. Yeah. So, okay. so is he like your, your permanent sock puppet or do you... No, it's just a... It's just, do you let him like do you let him drive sometimes, too? <laughs> He right. just sees more glimpses of the future. And Do you want our descriptions now or after we start fighting? Because um, it's a good cool. initiative. Last time you didn't want us to description. Yeah, your description. Well, we do get a description. We don't know how many raises yeah. we have. Okay. Yeah. 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 And there's uh, eight guys Oh, left. I rolled well. I rolled very well. You have so many dice, it doesn't matter. That's true. <laughs> just, just drown them in dice. You're out. Don't get away from us. Wow. <laughs> what? 
Harsh. Well, I'll just take the moment to thank Mr. Giggles for subscribing to the channel. Mr. Thank you, Mr. Giggles. Giggles. Yes. Who's Mr. Mr. Giggles? Oh, I, I think it's Giggles. I don't actually have my glasses on. So Mr. It could be Mr. Kay. Biggles. I'm gonna... it's, no, it's Mr. Giggles. Mr. Okay. Bigglesworth? Yeah. Mr. Gigglesworth. Biggles. Bigglesworth. Alright, Dr. So we've all rolled our dice. Okay. You make your raises, right? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm gonna re roll this with left handed. Yeah. Because you're not using six swords in your left hand. Oh. It's irrelevant. I never get more than like two. I had three this time. Because well, I you, had so <laughs> many <laughs> extra dice. You, you, you roll a couple times, so but. Bad. Seven. Yeah. This is monopolizing the, so <laughs> the action dice over here. One, two, three, four, five, six raises. How'd you do? Seven. Nice. Looking pretty good. It's almost like we're fighting for someone who's not here. Oh, Mr. Kinkles. Hello, Mr. Kinkles. Weird. Mm. So, um, you have how many? Seven. Six. Seven and six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jeez. Jesus is not taking part in this. How, how many How many people did you cut down the first time? Nine, I think. And you, you killed two or three? Yeah. And I well, there's eight two. left. Oh, nice. okay. And uh, you started with 14. 23. Mm. Yeah. It would have been 24, 15. but someone stabbed one as they jumped out the window. Nice, nice. Thanks for doing something, at least. Ah. Shot Jesus. someone as well. <laughs> Shot someone as well. You know, yes. going to get the boat so ready so we can escape. He's getting the boat ready. Well, well, the boat's already. kind of ready for you. It's someone else's boat. Just saying, I have gold elims. Here's the so problem. I'm definitely carrying Reloading a firearm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's five raises. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So it's all good to reload him. What? What? Reload him. Jesus a, Christ! Why? Because it's a 1600. It's a black have, powder weapon, have, so it's uh, literally like cartridges and ammo. Yeah, there's no cartridges yeah, you, or anything you, like that. It's, they had little paper like. No, pouches. it's not even those at this it's point. Not even those? No, oh, those wow. didn't come in until the 19th century. Well then, these guys people are just Napoleonics. Ew. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a lead ball with a horn of gunpowder. Yeah, it's the horn of gunpowder and the thing, and then the it's the oh, take a lead pellet out and thing and. You know, so you, ba you basically and then spit like your magic bullet, like that's your day right there. <laughs> and then <re> <laughs> you the gave flint us your all. And, you know, it's very awkward to reload a uh, a flint monk weapon. Yeah, that's like, fair. I mean, at least I have a sword, so I'll put like you know my gun back. Yeah, the Cap Captain Gio over there was actually the MVP. He gave us a lot of action <laughs> on that one shot. Yeah. So, so, on seven. Seven. Yes. So there were. Back to where we were before. There are three. The, yes. Yeah, so there there were four. Right How were they arranged? However you want them. How do you want them to be arranged? Jesus okay. Christ. Tell the story. Yeah. So how do you kill? You them? guys. This is more about you telling the story and how stuff is rather than me. Okay. Let's let's say the four were on like a, on each corner of like a, a square or whatever, and we were in the middle, and we killed one. Let's say bottom right. So I'm gonna assume that my sister went behind me. So yeah. there's just three people in front of me. One to my left. One to my right. One straight in front of me. I'm sure. just gonna. Wow. Okay. Just a huge white arc. You would like to use uh, slashing in Yes, a slash. Oh, okay. A huge wide slash. Use one raise. So, on six. You're both on six. Okay. So, can we spend extra raises to target and kill extra characters just for dramatic nope. points? No? We have to kill them one at a time? Right. Because you're both kind of going at the same time, there's no mm -hmm. villain in this? Sure. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up from the beating I take. I'm mm -hmm. gonna draw my broadsword. I'm gonna say, so I appear. Diplomacy has failed. I'm gonna grab it with two hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spin around <laughs> in a, a great big ballet of death, and I'm gonna bring it around again and again and again, and I'm gonna scream, Sarmatia! It's been lots of raises. I'm so trying to kill Conan. <laughs> you ever yeah, see? Much. You ever see? Uh, Conan. You ever see League of Legends? Or Conan. That's a game, right? Yeah, it's a I, game, right? I have a Played quick question. Once. How many, did, did <laughs> I kill, if any? Hmm? How many did I kill, if any? You killed three. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll so three, there's okay. like five yeah, guys I'm, left. I'm just making sure that there are him. three people. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six raises to spend on this. Yeah, you can spend all six raises, mm -hmm. and you'll kill five of them. All right, that's what I want. Okay. There's no brutes left. So that's, that's actually a reference to a video game character in League of Legends. Is there anything to do oh, with okay. extra raises? All he does is spin. So, so I actually round. downloaded League of Legends like two weeks I'd ago. I'd like to play with seven that. raises. I've played it three times. Uh -huh. it takes I was like, okay. Steps. I'll play with you one. <laughs> All right. Super fun. <laughs> it takes a long time to get to the game. I'd like to dance once you know how the game works. It's actually really fun. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> and use all my reasons Anyways, Google, for it Google Garen, no and you'll get the idea. All right. He, that's all he does. He's just a big dumb idiot and play mail with a sword, and he goes Demacia, and he spins around in a circle. So, so I spin. You have Sorisha. finished up the brute. Right. Yay! Um, do I get to the boat? You will get to the boat. Oh hell yeah! Do -do -do. So um, we're doing awesome today. Boat acquired. <laughs> you you are Roberto. I am Roberto. Are you sure? Yes, I am. It is your boat. It is my boat. Yes. It's your um, Roberto. You all make it to Roberto's ship. Awesome. Do I have a crew? Of course you have a crew. Excellent. You are not sail sailing a two masted. Oh, I like. I have a legit ship. It's, it's a sailing ship. A it's not. Ship. Huh. It's not a small sailing vessel. Rowboat. It's like a. You don't have a dinghy. You don't have a dinghy. Yes, I it's do. It's a merchant <laughs> vessel. You're a merchant. You have a merchant ship. <gasps> That's right. even better. That means sure. that I, I wait. What are you merchant merchandise? What do you no, sell? You're not a privateer. You do not have a letter of remark. That matters. <laughs> yes, it does. Otherwise, you're a pirate. And frigates and uh, galleons have a lot more guns. That's fair, I guess. What 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 is being merchant? What are your merchant alt? Yeah, what do you sell? I vote for opium. Also, thank you for letting us come aboard. Uh, no. Okay. So I wipe the blood of many of my best friends off, um, off my sword. What would I sell? So I'm not familiar with the economic structure of the Thea. Is there? Yeah. Is it? So what are what are the most common things that? They would sell. Like, to be fair, to be fair, you like, you probably delivered a ton of grain, mm. and now it's just sat on the dock, rotten. Yeah, well. Because of the issue with the. Well, it, it depends. You sell you, you sell far and wide, then you probably bring exotic stuff. But if you're yeah. just going from port to port, Ooh, yeah, it's probably you're food. probably uh, this point you're probably port to port within uh, what is effectively the Mediterranean. Spices. Spices. Olives. Yeah. You have lots of olives. You make like lots that. of money on I, spices, too. Yeah. You make tons of money on Back spices. Back then, at least. Like, now, is, is there, nobody cares. Yeah, well, you know because, what? I'm going to be a spice trader. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. the spice well, must flow. Say, flow. Say port port. The spice Probably must flow. Okay. Yeah. That's right. it. I'm a spice trader. Cool. Sweet. And on the back of my boat, I'm going to call it... Uh, there's names on boats, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to dub my boat... Um... The dinghy? No. What am I going to call this? Harkonnen. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that I one love, really flies. I love dude. <laughs> it's not gassy at all. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? The, um, the enemy house. The, um, the Harkonnens? Yeah, the Harkonnens, yeah. What about them? They don't fly. The Duke. Or flew. You didn't what, watch the he movie? He walks across the floor? You never saw the movie? What movie? 1984, Dune. Yes, religiously. I've seen that probably as many times as I've seen Star Wars, which so is I'm, a I'm lot. Make, I'm making reference no good to the Duke. Dune movies. Anyway. Lie. I don't know. Children of Dune was all right, but, I mean, that's Children of Dune. Hmm. All right, so thank you for letting us come aboard. Um, so you're aboard my ship, the Harkonnen. Harkonnen. I'm a spice trader. Master of that's spice. What yeah, Got any Master spicy spice. memes for me? Um, no, I don't want to meet the navigator. Azucena, um, uh, you see her as you're preparing to set sail. She dives out the window of the castle and uh, runs towards you as you're. I stand on I stand on my deck. You're getting ready to sail. Well, I can still stand on my deck, yeah. getting ready to sail. Like, Jesus. You see, you see part of the uh, the castle kind of collapse around the window where she jumped out. A small tear just drops down my eye and be like, that's my girl. Wait, small tear this? drops down my eye. I'm like, who that's my this? castle. That's my bodyguard. <laughs> yeah. oh. um, and then, uh, yeah, she, she kind of runs and uh, just kind of manages to catch on to the some of the, like, uh, the netting down the side mm. as the boat starts to move out the mm. I uh, order some of my men to help her uh, onto the deck. They, yeah, they know who she is, so yeah. <laughs> they seem to like her more than they like you. Well, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like in life, I don't care. <laughs> One tear rolls down my face. So, Captain, yep. where should we head? So, 
Yes. On to Set sail. Part two. Onwards. <laughs> um. Nice was story. that like scene that A? Was very that oh, was basically I... yeah. That was the first. Are episode, you kidding? The first scene, oh, my right? blessing goes away now. Yeah. Oh, damn. But so it's do okay, your wounds. Woo! Oh. And things like that. So. Neat. What about hero um, points? Huh? What about hero points? Do we? No, those are for the session. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, you don't get them back, you don't lose you, them. You, you regenerate them with, if you buy dice, right? Mm -hmm. I buy dice. Yes. But, but you also, through acting your quirk, yeah. you start with one so, hero point. Okay, so now, uh, now I'm... If you do your hubris, Oops. you know, you can get a hero point. If you, once per session for each quirk, you can get a hero point. So you can get quite a few hero board. points. You should be spending hero points whenever you block. Now... Now that we're on my ship, so I seem that we on. should educate you on the things of that you should not do, like giving people. He hired you. Yeah, so I can still scold him. There's a proper way of education. Here's some of golden, how the government should work. Here's some golden jewels. I'll I'll be in your quarters. Thanks. Your kindness is greatly appreciated, but we're having this talk later. <laughs> <laughs> I take his money and I put it wherever the hell I put money on the ship. <laughs> Well, you have to, you have to decide that. Do you have like a safe? Do you keep it in? Like yes, a, I believe I will have a gigantic safe. I love it. That will be in the middle of the ship, so like it's balanced it in your quarters. Yeah, I'm gonna live in the middle of my ship. I don't want quarters nice. on top because that's Smart. where you get fucking Attack. killed. Right. Yeah, no, no, my ship ain't like that. Man. He, he lives in the safe. I'll, 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 I'll sleep in the safe. safe so, <laughs> I'll sleep in the luxury quarters that are on the, the aft of the ship. Yeah, like true. a proper gentleman. I will too. I don't sleep below decks. I'm a prince. No, and I enjoy the prince's prince. money. The crew sleeps below deck. Yeah, he's, he's a man of the people. He sleeps with his crew. Exactly. Fine. I'm a sailor at heart. I'll take the captain's quarters. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th I think I think we can we can live we, with we've that. agreed. So, so agreed. the captain's quarters on top of my on the main deck is actually our storage. So he is sleeping in the storage. So this is a ship, yes. right? So you have your quarters, which right? are I've made which are just below, below the below the yep. um foxhole. Yeah, and then beneath that you'll have the guest quarters. Mm -hmm. Beneath that you'll have. Um, Probably your um, kitchens and such. Yes. All right. Your galleys. Make galleys. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then the deck, and then below the deck. Uh, the for to that, you'll have your crew quarters. Below that, oh, yeah. you'll have your storage. I'm familiar with, I'm familiar with the out. Uh, yes, the but they might not all be. Yes. And true. the viewers might not be. So, and then at the uh, the bow, you'll have your. Um, your petty officers, your, like, your officers' quarters. Mm -hmm. You know that, like, room that's always in the those old room? movies like, where there, there's a you big... You can't really put anything in the middle of the ship because there's this giant mast that goes down. Like, all the yeah. way through it and another one. So, you know. Maybe he likes sleeping next to the mast. Maybe it's adjacent to the mast. Yeah, adjacent to the mast. You know, as soon as the mast breaks, you know, giant splinters of wood through your neck and through everyone around you. Can I? Can I be in that? Sounds like sexy fun times. You know that room? You know that room in all those movies where they have, you know, the people are deciding where where they're gonna send their troops and stuff. It's like an old room. Yeah, and then there's like this big table and they're all like, yeah, I'm gonna be there. Nice. Okay, okay, so, wherever you are, it's irrelevant. It's going to be a little, library, a little library. So, read. why are we going to Vodachi? Yeah, why sail doing? across the sea when we have still have allies here in the Commonwealth? Everybody knows you shouldn't trust the Vodachi. This makes no sense. Of course, the witch and her brother couldn't be happier. They didn't want to come to the Commonwealth in the first place. Yeah. She holds yeah. no love for the prince. It's clearly a trap. You've listened to the crew grumble for the entire trip. It's as if they forgot how, in the months following the attack on the palace, you sat with no less than four allies of the prince. Betrayed by those beloved friends, each bought the Duke Casmeras uh, each bought by the Duke Casmeras's deep coverings. Every single time. Sounds like only my after like the other options were 
exhausted, the prince finally entertained his fiancée's idea of sailing to Vodachi in hope of appealing to her father for help. Now the topman calls out that he has spied the port. The decision has been made at the die cast. You've opted to take the matter of finding allies in a foreign court. No matter how deadly you fear it may become. So, you have travelled to Vodachi. It has happened, you've been travelling for several months, going through Commonwealth ports and to allies. So, Please describe a situation in the previous months um, to show that there was no help to be found in the Commonwealth and uh, in which you made a mistake that led to danger for trying to help out in sport and roll or, you know, something you were involved in to do with the Commonwealth. And failing to find help. This is so. This, what am I failing to find help? You're trying uh, to whatever me. you want. You're trying, I'm trying to, get, to trying to get rid of no, me. No, you're not trying to get rid of him. You're trying to help him. Yeah. Right? Okay. But you you sail so to I'm a port. For too. example, okay. you yeah you're very simple. He's okay. hired you. You're a merchant. Right. Plus he's got more. money. You're trying, yeah. He's trying, got you're more to me money. Defense. Oh okay. Like if you can get him to be a prince again, mm -hmm. he could buy you a thousand ships. He would have an entire country's treasuries, right? I could, you could use a master of sales, all right? I so there's that. absolutely no reason for you to just. So you can make board. your own ship that has a safe right in this yeah. middle. Yeah. <laughs> so you can describe like you went to this port no, we don't and like <laughs> you right. went to an old merchant friend that, and he <laughs> dobbed you into the like. So, so I was traveling <laughs> around the ports one day. Well, not one day, several months ago. This was and as this group, yeah? Yeah, as this group. And we decided to uh, travel <laughs> to one of a smaller town, more like a village. Our ship pulled up very large compared to everything else here. And I met my friend Gaius. I pleaded with Gaius to please help assist us in getting the prince to safety. Mm -hmm. Gaius refused. I got very angry with Gaius. So, in the middle of the night, unbeknownst to my crew and uh, my companions here, I went to Gaius' house. I knocked on the door. There was no answer. I was sad for a moment. And then I heard Gaius panting or screaming in the back. I walked around his estate, and I saw that he was being attacked by two men. I was smiled deep inside, because I knew that Gaius had this coming to him. So what I... mistake have you made that did this? One sec. <laughs> Going! You don't get to get yourself out of this, no, though. No, I'm no, not, I'm, not, I'm not getting myself out of this. I smiled at Gaius. As I looked at the men, I realized mm. they weren't men at all. Perhaps <laughs> I should have hired more thugs to take care of Gaius. Oh! Da, da, da. Gaius looked over and he saw me. It was then that I realized that I had made a serious <laughs> mistake in hiring such weakness. <laughs> Get wrecked. Shia LaBeouf. So, what happened then? <laughs> Did what they happened? attack you? Why would they attack me? I hired them. But you didn't fail yet. He didn't How die. did you fail? He didn't Gu die. Guys didn't die. He's that's right. not a failure. I don't know. I think that's pretty much No, no, you haven't failed. Okay. Right? I want you to figure out how you failed oh. him. How you failed this thing, right? Did Biden. Gaius send more guards against you in revenge? That would Did be Gaius yeah. try yeah. to have you murdered? Where you had like a whole Did Gaius set fire to your ship? Oh god no. What happened? How did ah, you fail? Gotcha. Um, so 
after uh, the thugs were finished beating up Gaius, I heard Gaius scream out what I can only tell is some filthy curse. In the end, I'm pretty sure Gaius' wife saw the whole thing. Dun, dun, dun. If she talks, I'm a dead man. That's my failure. Because he, he murdered her, or attempted to murder her. So she guys. talked? Yes, she talked. And some guards came to you. Came sure. to your ship. So. Yikers. Um, That's a yikes. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, to, to solidify this, the two idiots that I hired to kill Gaius, I threw them off my boat and drowned them myself. You all. Nice. How did you save the day in this situation? To I killed the wife. Whoa. Oh my god! Wow! Did you tell me it was a duel? Hell no! I just killed her. Wow. You just killed her? Yeah. It's simple slip blood. of a knife between the right pair of ribs. Damn. Jeez. This is Game of Thrones shit right here. Okay. okay I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> I kill you. I kill, I kill you. you. I kill all of you. Kill Where's my Did you elephant? Escape scene? <laughs> of course, I was. I was being very sneaky the whole time. So. I, and, and with great panache. Yeah. Flourishing for so years. well, actually, actually, one person almost caught me, but I was really charming. So they you, just you was, let me tried go. to escape one unseen. Yes. Yeah. So roll me a um, a um, finesse and hide. Ooh, things you're good at. Nope. To escape unseen. Does he get to have the bonus dice for not trying this before, or no? No. Okay. So just a raw roll, finesse and hide. Do All right. Have, yeah. Okay, so. One. one. Okay. So. Dominica. In these months, how have you failed? What failure did you could happen? Failing him? Failing your venture, which is to see him back Re as... Reinstate me as the prince yeah. of the Commonwealth. As you were sailing around trying to get allies in the Commonwealth. Around three months ago, we stopped at a port um, in a green city. And there was. There was. Um, some very important festivities happening um, with some very important people and we my crew and I my brother and the prince we went in and many of them had heard the stories of what had happened where were we? Sarpedia Yes, many of them have heard the, the stories. Um, but I tried to convince all of them that uh, it wasn't that we were in the right and that there was nothing uh, that, that, that the prince was correct and that we shouldn't you know, attack him or anything like that. And I tried to tell them that I knew the person who... Uh, hosted the party that was the prince of that I don't know the duke the, region. the duke okay um, prince. okay of the whole okay and uh they figured me out and they arrested me <gasps> and threatened to kill the prince if I didn't tell and then everybody else ran away but they threatened to kill the prince and me Kill the prince if I didn't tell them where he was, mm -hmm. so that they could apprehend him. Yeah. Okay. Roberto, how did you uh, get them out of this situation? How did you save the day? I was playing with the audio, so I actually didn't hear. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to cut the background noise, mm. which I think I've successfully done mm -hmm. now. 
Uh, so I apologize for that. I went into a party, and I tried to convince them that he's not that bad, and they arrested me because I tried. I lied to them and said, "Oh, I know the Duke," and I didn't. And they arrested me, and they wanted to kill him, and they were gonna kill me as well. So, you're at a party, you got arrested. I got arrested. And they we were able to, get away. to escape, they but to escape. but they're not like safe by any means. Okay. Everybody knows who they are, and, all and they're looking for us. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, in this regards, I find out about this situation, and uh, I I send out some of my men to try and gauge the climate in this port, in this town, and to see if maybe some money can exchange hands in exchanging for uh, the... Dominica. Pardon? For Dominica. For Dominica, yeah. Uh, eventually I do come across, well, eventually my men come across, uh, this, uh, jailer who, you know, is in some serious debt with, uh, some local gambling houses. Mm -hmm. And I offer to buy his debt from him. And in exchange, he has to let Dominica go and so come like your bribe him. Yeah, I bribe. I bribe. I bribe my. I bribe Dominica's freedom, okay. and I have um, this dude indebted to me. Please roll your oh, no. uh, panache. Yep. And tempt. Ooh, okay. good one. Uh, do I get a bonus nope. dice? No. Nope. Not neat. Not unless you spend hero points. <coughs> oh. Well, mine didn't, yeah. You're, you've not rolled for anything yet. Yeah, okay. You're just set in the scene of failure, and then someone else is set in the scene of, like, how they help and escape. I used an advantage, but does that... No. Okay. And this is a new... Because if you use an advantage, it's automatic, and it works. Okay. Okay. Um, two successes. Two successes. Yeah. Okay, so it works. All right. How have you failed? Okay, so it turns out that I heard a rumor mm -hmm. that uh, Yevgeny, uh, the tiny, has uh, started up a, a uh, political resistance, <laughs> an underground <laughs> faction, trying to reinstate me as the rightful prince of the... Of the, the uh, this is a different oh, Yevgeny. This is a very... This no, is... Yevgeny didn't die. We succeeded no, no. on him. Huh? He didn't die. He succeeded on him. He's still alive. No? No. Okay. He was murdered by the uh, Duke. Oh, okay. Yevgeny so, the Tiny, mm. in the same way that Little John yeah. was a huge guy. Yeah. So this is Yevgeny's son, Yevgeny the Tiny. Okay. Yeah. Yevgeny's son, I've heard a rumor that Yevgeny's son has started an underground uh, movement to reinstate me successfully. So, of course, me being the, tr the trusting monarch that I am, I walked right into a uh, ambush by the, the Duke's people. Okay. Invitation to the prince. Um, totally. Well, you tell me it's safe to go home How in my castle. I'm gonna today? go and try, so, right? So, um, can I can I ask him a question, or do I do I? Oh, I went alone. I, I, yeah. I went alone. I went alone. I went alone. It's entirely up to you how you save the day. So, um, there were three men, two men, who Most apprehended well. <laughs> who apprehended the prince. And um, they were keeping him in a. Wait, can you say one more time? Feather bed. No, no, a what happened? <laughs> he walked into an ambush, right? He, he, yeah, he, I walked into yeah. an ambush. Yeah. Um, it was in a warehouse. So he got beaten. <clears throat> and uh, now he is in a <laughs> cell um, <laughs> waiting for some Duke, I guess, to arrive. Yeah, they, they want to make a, a show of executing me for sure. And there were two men guarding uh, the cell. And I... And it was in an underground, uh, kind of like a, a sewer system. So I went around asking if anybody knew... I, I, I acquired a map or mm -hmm. a drawing of the sewer system. And I went in. And I... <laughs> I put 
pretended to be... <laughs> I pretended to be a prostitute. And tell them... <laughs> and I told them that um, it would be free if we go over there. <laughs> and they took it. And I had... Um, Roberto, <laughs> Roberto, um, open the cell and free the prince. Mm -hmm. And and then once uh, once we were done, I like killed them and just left. Mm -hmm. And, we freed and the you didn't prince. tell your brother. And I did not tell my brother. <laughs> he was on the ship. Which is good. I I am gonna pretend I didn't hear any of that. You didn't. He was, yeah, he, was busy, he was busy practicing. He was busy with practicing a sword. sword play. I saw it. Well, I'm very good with it. Sword play. Sword play. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's on yeah, the deck of the ship. Exactly. He's on the deck of the ship, shirtless. Yeah. Two people were getting like, their swords polished that day. Practicing. But, uh, <laughs> practicing. Practicing the sword play. Um. So. We'll have a uh, wits and deception. Ooh. Yeah, but tempt would be there. Mm -hmm. But tempt would be there for sure. Mm. I like, I well, like tempt is uh, you when you bribe someone to do something yeah. for you that they really shouldn't. Well, I mean, they shouldn't be we'll walking. Yeah. 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 yeah, we'll go with tempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Because it also says, use tempt when you convince someone to give you a little one-on-one -on -one alone time. Oh, <laughs> Or two-on-one. Two on one. Or two-on-one. <laughs> Should okay, be an extra dice for that. one, two, three. Okay. Yay. And how have you failed? You so, didn't know. Didn't okay. know my sister was um, tough. <laughs> tempting men. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I had a Same bit of a disagreement. Right. I had a hey, bit I'm of a not disagreement sad. with I'm not the, sad at all. the prince. Happy. And so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go gems. drinking and get the nail job. So I, I went to the nearest bar and we were at the docks. So it was really divey and terrible, obviously. And uh, I saw two men hitting on a girl and I was super drunk. And she looked vaguely like my sister, so I assumed <laughs> she was my sister. So I killed them. Uh, and left immediately after killing them, covered in blood, and went to the ship and woke up to a bunch of guards being like, Hey! What the hell, dude? <laughs> you killed a bunch of people! <laughs> and then they saw the prince and they were like, Hey! Aren't you that prince they're looking for? <laughs> Was not well, I might get implicated <laughs> in his crimes of passion, I don't understand. <laughs> and how did you get people out of this? Well, I used my advantage of leadership, and I convinced them that I was, in fact, their true prince, and that this man was an agent uh, working for the underground movement to, to reinstate the rightful ruler of the Commonwealth of Sarmatia, and that... Uh, that uh, they can they can be my agents in this port, and they would have high stations when I came back to power. They would they would rule um, this town and possibly the entire Commonwealth with me in the Parliament. What's the name of the Parliament again? The Sarvidi? I can't remember. Huh? You said earlier the the ruling council is called the Sarvidi. No, it's um, the Sayam. 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 Yeah. So, I have I have positions in Sayam. Well, S E J M. Sayam. Okay, I would like a um, deception. Okay, which I don't have. <laughs> and um, Nash. Okay. Can I not spend my hero point to leadership? I guess mm -hmm. not, right? Once per game session, spend a hero point to spare a group to action. Neutral or better disposition. I guess they're not neutral to me, are they? No. All right. And it's it's once per session. Yeah, I That's haven't used it yet. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, I got zero successes. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> so. So you didn't get us out of the one. Well, I don't know why I'm deceiving them. I was actually going to promise them. <laughs> really? Yes. You were really going to give them all that stuff? I'm extremely trusting. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 
true. And he's not that. They're, clear, they're clearly excellent uh, officers of the law. You're not that stupid. You're I not. didn't say I was smart. Certainly not a liar. He's, he's, he's extremely he's, principled. He's, he's rich, so it's he's a, very principled. Actually, yeah, he believes that it's actually my virtue. Good. It's actually my virtue. I'm actually principled. He doesn't realize that all cops, no matter what year it was ever been in human history. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. And then I have reputation principle. When you attempt to use repu your reputation to an advantage in a social risk. Is this a social risk? Oh, no, I have that okay. too. So I would get two more dice. Okay. All right. So so I had... Yeah. Do you want me to re-roll the whole thing or just the two? Re-roll the whole thing. Sure, sure. Okay. So there's, there's two raises. Okay. So you now have two... <laughs> spies. Nice. Awesome. What are their names? Do what you oh, I know their names. Yeah, they're your spies. They're Hans and Franz. Got it. <laughs> Have they just forgotten that I murdered two people in cold blood for no reason? Welcome to uh, <laughs> 16th century Europe. <laughs> nice. Welcome to <laughs> Princess. That's right. Hans and Franz work for me now. Nice. Cool. The Viva the Revolution. <laughs> Gonna have to print some pamphlets. Are you trying to induct them into uh, Los Vagos? Oh, I'm not. I'm not a part of any so hidden social movement. No. Okay. I'm starting one. <laughs> Lost Vegas. They're the re we're calling it the Lost Revolution. Vegas. Hans and Franz are going to start. We're going to print some pamphlets. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> then we're going to have a meeting. That's right. And it's going to be punch, punch and pie. And pie. That's right. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't even know what that's referencing. Okay, Blame Canada. <laughs> yeah, that's what's wrong. Wow, he's just laughing. He has no idea of the I reference. Don't. No, I, I still don't. I Boy, said I didn't get it. it. <laughs> Good. So, you have arrived in Bodachi. Yay! We're in Bodachi. Finally. What port are we in in Bodachi? Stop looking at the map. Yeah, the, the nice one. Where princes would land. The one where I live. Well, because we're, we're, we're trying to appeal to the better nature of some sovereign, right? What, the, was it doesn't actually parents? say what port you're in because it's not relevant. Okay. Are we, are we um, trying to and meet your, your parents or, or my People don't have access parents. to the map. Your girlfriend's oh. My fiance's parents are the one who's trying to kill me. Yeah, but she, she was like, oh yeah, come, let's meet my dad. Oh, okay, okay. We're meeting, we're meeting his We're meeting his fiance's parents, right? Are meeting my teacher's father-in-law? Is that what's going on here? You mean the woman who was in like that tight black leather that the black one. cat yeah she's on with the boat on you she was on the boat with you from like because oh. she met you on the boat oh. right okay. and she sailed with you hence why there are comments from the crew about her okay um uh, you're not meeting her father who are we meeting I would expect whose father are we meeting meeting the your fiance's father yeah that's why I was confused whose father are we meeting oh please tell me it's the duke your what fiance's father is the Duke. No, they no share I know the that. same name. I know that. All right. Wait, well, okay, then where, where, what are we doing? Who, You're who are in we supposed Budachi to be doing? Doing what? Um, meeting your father. Our father. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. We're going to Budachi to meet your parents. I, I thought it was. Okay. Am I a prince? Or your father? No, no, I'm the prince. Well, no, I know, but like, what are, uh, we? are we? Are we? Are we, are we uh, your father is a count. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, is his name uh, Dracula? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> He's not in blood. The no, Commonwealth. Well, okay. yeah, I, I, I know Count Oops, doesn't imply vampire. My brain does. He, he would count be a Count. Magic. He would be a Count in the Commonwealth Fairly if he was Dracula. Okay. Well, maybe he's. However, he likes girls. Dracula. He's probably a member of the mob. He's probably not. The mob. mob. Wait, is there Badachi. a mob? Huh? Is there a mob in? No, not really. No. The mob is in Castile. Hey, that's where I'm from. Oh, wait. Las Vegas is pretty much the mob. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, they're freedom fighters. Right. Okay. Do they freedom. Do legal stuff? Freedom fighters. If no, they are freedom fighters. But they're <laughs> they're all like... Zorro. Okay. If firefighters fight fire and crime fighters fight crime, what do freedom fighters fight? Fight freedom, obviously. <laughs> so the Republicans. <laughs> no, they... Fight Republicans. Mm. Okay. So, Mommy, Daddy. you arrive in Vodachi. Mm. You receive terrible news. Oh, oh god damn it! Dominica and Neo's father, oh, Count no. Vespucci, was greatly angered by the announcement of the Golden Liberty, which was what they're now calling 
what you did. What uh, is it? Golden Liberty. Golden Liberty? Yep. Yeah, because they basically liberated all of the peasants to be noble. Nobles. I mean, they got the name, they're still peasants though. Yeah. <laughs> well like they're still stuck with no money. Yeah, but so is every other noble that. in that state. But yeah, no one knows that, to be fair. No one knows that he his country is bankrupt and like can't afford to pay the merchant. I mean, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to call off the marriage, wow. Count Vespucci Just got fucked. <laughs> is unwilling to aid the deposed prince and his allies. The safe haven they expected to find is gone, and they are left out in the cold. It is time to find new allies. What's my relationship like with my father? Bad right now, I imagine. To secure a Could patron and raise an army to march on the Commonwealth and reclaim the prince's throne. There's only one problem. The Badachi nobles are unwilling to involve themselves in the upheaval of their neighbor for fear that marching army across the borders would be seen as an act of war. As luck would have it, a more understanding Vodachi noble, the Marquis de Reggae. Yeah, Reggae. <laughs> Seriously? No, probably not. The Marquis de Rige is throwing a gala masquerade ball Ooh. You have secured your invites and costumes, and you are making your way through the main gate. So who is this? Who? Who? What's who's party? Marquis de Rige. What other news do we have no, in like, the Commonwealth? Not a lot. Like the Golden Liberty Law passed, and now everyone's equal, causing well, chaos. Or did the Duke succeed in this coup d'état and is now? You don't know. No one can tell us. You were on a fast boat from the Commonwealth. Yeah, absolutely. But we now land in Vodachi, is there no word? You're probably you one the of the first, first boat. boats. You're on a first boat. Oh, oh, I see. Not what you're like saying. there's mobile phones. True. No one can just send a message ahead of you. Right, right, right. We Wait, were so probably how, carrying how, how mail. Have they, how have they heard about so, Because it was several weeks okay. that you spent sailing around and word spread. Word spread and of course, you yeah. know, um those Montines and their foul mm -hmm. magics. Montaigne, they have a magic called Porte, which is basically teleportation. Oh, cool. Through hell. Oh, never mind. Sounds less cool. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. Like, who? We're so finally. Our parents said. We Your don't father want to... does not want to support this prince because of the stupid l thing he did. Okay, so now. However, we're at... the Marquis de Rige is more understanding to what the prince did. And he it's is holding reggae. a grand ball. De <laughs> reggae, really, yeah. Really common. Yeah, de reggae. Uh, <laughs> de rige. Um, so you're going to this gala masquerade ball to find lots. De rige's estate, nicknamed the Rainbow House, is gorgeous on any day with high spires that look out over the city and the trade sea. The mm -hmm. architecture is inspired by Classic Numa, but with a contemporary Vodachi flair and colour that gives it a life and identity of its own. Mm. The courtyard is paved with stones of varying colours, forming a bright mosaic arranged around a massive central fountain. On the water's surface, countless paper lanterns float back and forth, and similar lanterns are hung around the courtyard as a whole, giving the entire place a feel of something out of a fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Lovely. The people gathered are no less fantastical. The political and social elite of Vodachi, all decked out in clothing and costumes of the highest quality, with masks from simple, from the simple and elegant to the extravagant and unbelievable, wander to and fro, sipping drinks and engaging one another in conversation. A line of attendees stretches back from the gate. Some are on foot, others are on horseback, riding in carriages. And one group even arrives on a palanquin carried by four brawny servants. The estate has its own dedicated docks, and numerous small boats and pleasure yachts can be seen either already moored or waiting to dock. Interesting. 
Interesting. What's our intention here? You're trying to find allies. Help. No, I, I meant our intentions. Oh. What do you guys want to do? I know what I want to do. Let's get my my mask my up. mission is clear. My mission is to go in there, put on my best golden bear mask, and uh, and uh, try to win some friends. So. Yeah, I have um. You need to take your wounds back too. Yeah, my wound. Um, I have. I have a connection with a particular NPC, and they're an ally who would walk through fire for me. Vespucci vassals. So I'll find a very important. What kind of person should it be? Do I get to choose that? Well, you also have a friend at court. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 I do. When you are at a ball, feast, or similar high society function, spend a hero point to reveal you have a close friend also in attendance. You can do this once per game session. So. Ooh, yes. I have an idea. Yeah. Uh, first of all. Please describe your entrance to the ground ballroom. A herald will be announcing you. Are we all attending this? Yes. Okay. Like you're all nobles, or you're pretty much all nobles. You're a trade. You're a trade prince. I'm a real prince. They're yeah. the son, the son and daughter of a count. Yeah. We're invited. This is place is our nice. Nice. Um, Your um, bodyguard is a bodyguard. Okay. Right, I'll go first. So I will, uh, wearing my finest red silk coat, uh, cape, sorry, and uh, my big furry hat with a golden bear mask. Okay. Stride forward in my nicest white silks with my big black boots, fur lined, of course, and I will announce myself by my true name, Lexi Gratian well, Novak. A herald will announce. Yes. It. Yeah. Well, all will know me. Yeah. The, but yeah, the herald. Of Look upon me in you. adoration. Okay. So yes, uh, are you um, trying to make a splash? Are you uh, trying yes. to avoid attention? I mean, this, these are questions for everyone to think yeah. about. Are Are you in disguise? Are you using a false identity? Um, nope. Nope. I'm me. <laughs> no, but this I'm is for everyone. Yeah. No, I'm just announcing. Yeah. I'm, I'm me. I'm making a splash. Who's next? Well, I'm gonna just enter as myself. Nothing fancy. I imagine um, I've been to these before as the son of a count. So but what are you wearing? Not phased. What are you wearing? Just my normal clothing with a plain white mask. What is normal clothing? Yeah, well, what is normal what clothing? Looks look like yeah, yeah, but here. describe it. Describe it. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like, like at the it, end of the day, you're the uh, son of a count. Beautiful. So it looks like leather pants with a, a nice belt and. Uh, a white uh, button up shirt mm -hmm. and a, a nice vest and my sword. Are you armed? Are you yeah, my sword. sword? My sword. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have my sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have a sword too, but mine will be ceremonial. It won't be my actual killing sword. Mine are the same. So I am dressed in a big black hat, wearing a fine red jacket with embroidered. Uh, or not embroidered, gilded. Mm, good word. Gilded uh, seams. Mm. Uh, beside me, yeah. I have my bodyguard. Oh, uh, well. Mm. Mm. Oh, she will do, do your bodyguard. All right. Look at <laughs> I couldn't remember what the thing was called. So I was at, just That's just to look at. Pardon? The thing? Which thing? What the jacket was called. Oh, yeah. And as soon as I saw it, I remembered. But, um, a doublet? Pardon? You are in a doublet? Yes. Uh, a cravat with my own personal insignia on it. However, underneath that personal insignia is a poison. For you to stab yourself. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! I think yeah, you need a vial of poison. Like, like, a, poison, like, like a vial okay. of poison. Yeah. Um, I am carrying my uh, cutlass as well as my firearm, which is tucked actually beneath uh, like underneath my jacket. It's probably quite visible. It's just a firearm, right? It's no, it's it's. Yeah, you're not gonna hide it. Why wouldn't I? Tuck it into your belt. Because lots of fancy. people will have them. Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'll just wear it right? openly. It's not like it's an illegal weapon. Oh, that's true. It's yeah. A, a, 
a firearm. It's yeah. like a dueling pistol, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a show. It's a show of. Uh, but it's a show by, of by the many yeah, weeks, I have well. reloaded this thing now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously. Okay. But it's a show it, of well. It took you. It took you two like and a half you know, months, but you got two and a half months. I finally it. It's not a. Um, it's not like you're trying to have a concealed weapon. Uh, but I'm gonna bring and it's about my. That big, so, I'm gonna know. bring my. Uh, four of my other sailors yep. with me, and they're dressed in proper attire for a ballroom, and they're escorting me along with what I assume my bodyguard who all of a sudden disappeared. No, no, your bodyguard is entering separately. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of uh, regalia. I'm a merchant after all. Why wouldn't I spend uh, the money on regalia? Mm-hmm. And by separately, I mean it's the sun. Uh, by separately, I mean separately. Oh. Okay, so I'm coming in. Um, I'm wearing a green um, ball gown, an uh, emerald green ball gown with a maroon kind of um, corset uh, mm -hmm. detailing, and the front is, so it's green, and then there's like some more maroon in front, basically, with some lace embroidery. I'm wearing a veil, like there is in the picture. Two very expensive clothes. Yeah. Um... And I have my, uh, my whip in, like, it's kind of concealed in this kind of, it looks like a drawstring bag. So here's the thing. You're a Strega, right? So you're a fate witch. I'm not Fia. All right. So in Budachi. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. They're not going to call you a witch. Everyone, like... It's a show status if yeah. you use the whip. It's basically the weapon that the, the fake witches use. Okay. So, you know, no one. You don't want to mm -hmm. hide it. Okay. Yeah. Show up. Flaunt it. Yeah, flaunt, flaunt that you're a fake witch. Okay. You know? It's okay. a symbol of status. Okay. Right. Especially here, right? Yeah. Okay. But that, uh, fake witches only appear. Um, like only Badachi can become fake or be fake witch. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Like you can't have so a Martinian. You're, you're, so you're s this is you're safe basically in this area. Yeah. Okay. You have mixed um, fate witches. Better than huh? safe. You, you have mixed you fate worship witches. like a goddess, like mm -hmm. a Badachi and someone else having a child. Could that child be a fate witch? A dead witch. Well, female. Yes. Okay. Well. Um, yeah. And then I will. Oh. Can I use a hero point right now or no? Sure. I, I wanted to ask, or ask, I wanted to tell the, announce, the is it Harold or? Tell the Harold, yeah. The Harold? To announce me as, um, that I have a friend at court, so when you're at Ball Feast, Similar High Society, close friend in attendance. Yep. And yeah, yeah, sure. the close friend is the, I guess the guy who owns the place? Oh, the count. Yeah. Uh, no. The Marquis is the Marquis. Marquis. Yeah, reggae guy. Uh, <laughs> reggae guy. <laughs> it, it, his full name is uh, the Marquis Cedrino de Regge. Okay. Bob Marley de Regge. Th yeah. I was literally thinking. <laughs> the Marquis so he Bob is my um, close Marley. friend. He's a close friend. Okay. And they should fuck off. <laughs> business. Hmm? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> But so the marquee is a close friend. Okay. okay. Is this social risk or no? This will be this social, social risk. Yeah. Okay, so then it says when you attempt to use your reputation, which is what I'm doing. You well, gain a we'll get that. Die. So. Okay. Yeah, we haven't we haven't used your rep yet. We just come through the door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my beard is oiled. Of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? My hair is in the. So you look more like a. Uh, Syrian at the moment than a uh, <coughs> Commonwealth, but wow, I'm dumb. What I just read what my second ability did. Which one? Uh, Castilian education. Yeah. When I make Castilian. Yeah, Castilian. Whenever I make a known risk, I add one to all my dice values. <laughs> make a what risk? Known risk. Known no. or no? No risk. Sorry. Yeah. So a knowledge risk. Yeah. Yeah. Which you've not made any of yet. But I still read it just now. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we have we have cool powers. Mm -hmm. 
And you're making a social skill? So, check? we'll get yeah, to yeah, that yeah, in a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you've entered the uh, Rainbow House. Once you're inside, the scene is no, leg ma no less magnificent. The main ballroom is awash in light and colour. With the cloth tapestries hanging from the balconies that line the walls, a full symphony plays on the stage off to one side, and servants carrying trays of drinks and food meander through the rooms, offering refreshments to guests. There are, there are tables set out in various places around the room as well, and a few dozen small circular tables with chairs set around them. The centre of the room is dominated by an open space, Distractions. Uh, the center of the room is dominated by an open space that looks as if it's being used as a dance floor. More than a score of dancers are currently spinning and twirling about in intricate patterns of formal dance. Everyone, and I mean everyone, is wearing a mask and costume of varying intricacies and expense. You do see some guests entering and leaving through other rooms, and after making a few quick circuits, you discover that these are mostly sitting rooms that have been set aside for quiet, more intimate conversations. One appears to be a small library or study. One is a sitting room with a number of very comfortable looking red leather couches. And another is a trophy room adorned with various stuffed animals, mounted animal heads, and ornamental weapons and glass display cases. There are other doors as well, but they appear to have guards stationed at them. These guards do not seem particularly aggressive. You see a few other guests draw close to these guarded doors and they are gently turned away, but otherwise not harassed or bothered. So a rocking hmm. party. Hmm. So you need to... I go to... Oh, sorry. Find out information and find allies. I'm going to like creepily follow my sister at like a so... foot distance and threaten that her nanny is speaking. I know. <laughs> no. I walk to the. So, before we get to this, um, what? Oh, everyone's scared of me. Well, not, not here. They're not scared of you because they know what you are, so they know the truth, as opposed to in other countries they just know rumors. Okay. Most of the time, these rumors are spread about by the Vatachi themselves. <laughs> To make yeah. those people afraid of you. Yeah. Uh, so, so usually what? by their brothers. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do the Vodachi know about fate witches? Like what? How? They're, the Vodachi are not afraid of fate witches. Right. Because they understand that, like, how fate witches work. Which is how? Like, why are they not afraid of fate witches? Because they know, um, fate witches. Like, except for very simple blessings and curses like you do. But oh, they can't really do much. Uh, they can do a lot. Okay. But there's a backlash. Mm. All right. So that means extremely powerful fate witches aren't going to do things. All right. And Fair. the Vodachi kind of know how to recognize a fate witch who is doing things like that. Right. And of all the noble families, like... Fate witches can kind of reverse other fate witches' work. Right. You know, so and like seeing as all the noble, noble families family have multiple fate, fate witches, witch, yeah. it's pretty much like every noble family has at least one fate witch. Right. So oh, you she's can't a really fate witch screw around family. with people. Yeah. She's all right. It's witch. usually the, like, the matron or... Oh, she's um, one in the home then. Yeah. Things like that. It's lucky we got you. I'm surprised that the count didn't be like, oh, we need her back here now. <laughs> well, your mother's probably a fate witch. Oh, neat. Yeah. Right. Um, we have multiple fate witches in our family. Like well, I have, I have e fate even yeah. even um. So there's there's like. Even the uh, like peasants and things like that, like. Women of all standing can manipulate fate in a small way, so even like um, when a baby is born, a mother will bless the baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, 
However, fate witches can manipulate fate on a very grand scale, much mm. more powerful. But, but even but, but like at that point, it, just, it be, like becomes very detrimental to them. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like a health detriment or? It's a backlash. Like in, it, like... It's literally fate doing backlash oh, okay. upon you. Yeah. So your life just gets. So if you if super you super bad <laughs> if you yeah if you uh, curse someone with death. Very likely you that you are going to die at some point okay, in the future, too. Okay, fair. That makes sense. All right. Or someone very close to you will die. Yeah. Like your husband or your son or nice. something like that, your right? Your brother who falls And it won't be, be of your control either. <laughs> right. All right? Well, so you're not going to curse someone with death mm-hmm. if it's going to come back and literally potentially kill someone who is close right. to you. Okay. So basically the reason people in the Dutch here and so here to fate, which is they're like, if you do something to me, it's going to Yeah, they know about the backlash. back at you. Yeah. Uh, so, you need to figure out how you're going to go around and get, like, find out these allies and things like that, right? What uh, approaches you're going to use for this. Mm. All right. Um, as it says here, don't feel tempted to avoid things like brawn or finesse, uh, even though this is a social scene, right? Um, don't close yourself off inside a box. So you can... Use, um, as it says here, for Ness, uh, physical maneuvering through crowds, slipping off to explore the manner for clues. Brawn can be used for, like, showing off, drawing yeah. attention, creating distractions, or impressing uh, mighty nobles. Okay, like that. actually, never mind. I have to change what I'm wearing. I'm going to be wearing, like, a full, like, fancy suit. Like, get all up in there. Like, yeah. a okay. super fancy. intricate mask that's, We like, have to describe our masks. I completely forgot. I'm a bear. Yeah, he's got a bear mask. <laughs> I'm going to have in. the mask be, like, blue and, like, a sea serpent. Well, like, yeah. like I just got I just got the impression off of my art, which is very... It could be considered, like, a turban in Middle Eastern, but I also got, like, this Crushing. Cossack feel from it. So I'm, yeah. just going, I'm going with a that's Cossack like, yep. bear kind of... Yeah, that's, that's one of the Cossack. I yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But Asura is also... The bear is a, a big symbol in Asura. What's the big symbol in the Commonwealth? Well, I'm going there. The rat. Uh, uh, Asura is also bad because of Baba Yaga. Baba right. Yaga. That's actually a thing in Asura. So maybe this is one of my many political foibles, but I look good as a bear. I look okay. fabulous. <laughs> Elsa was on sale. And of course the cold wind. I have a green mask with gold embroidery and some maroon detailing. Mm-hmm. It's like very elegant. Like. Does it make you look like something? The top. Mm, that's a good one. Look nice. Mm. My mask, very simple, very elegant, black with white, uh, with a white trim around the eyes. Is it like animal shaped or? No, it's it's more like, like I guess raccoonish. Okay. Describe it better, but like with the the white around the inside. It's not the animal on the outside. It's very, very simple. Evil of Tembo at the side of the curve. So I'll give you some uh, uh, help with this. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> so God, but somehow. Panache can be used to make a splash. Um, <laughs> and generally get along with the upper crust. Right? Wits can be used for outflanking your peers, knowing just when to drop the right words uh, in the ears or figure out who's most likely and able to help you. The resolve is for um, resisting temptation. I have a is there anybody in the room that I can see has a dual skilled pin? We'll get to that in a moment. Okay. Uh, when we go through your skills, etc. Um, skill expectations. Um, to help you out, the prince, uh, diplomacy and knowledge tactics. I was actually going to go with dancing. Okay. I was going to. I was going to see if my fiance wanted to dance with me. Aww. We make a big that, show that, right in the middle of the floor. So cute. Doesn't really help. Like you can do that anyway. You mm-hmm. don't have to make rolls for this. Okay. Right. Yeah, this how is good. You dance. Yeah, yeah, that's just something that happens. All right. I want, I want to use. I want. That's my intention. My intention in this scene is to dance well, in the so middle of the floor and get seen. Your that's your risk in this is to try to find allies. Right. Okay. Um. So that also means interacting with them. You know, you're I'm not going to be that. dancing the whole night. Nope. But you're making one roll for the whole gala. Only one? Yeah. Okay. And then you spend those raises to find out things. 
Okay. Right, and to find allies and things like that. Right, so if, yeah, if it's just one roll, then yeah, right. I guess we'll often rethink Mu that. Much like the combat where you had one roll and it went through, mm. this is more a dramatic scene where you're making one roll using a, a, a skill and a trait, and then finding out, trying to find. Okay. No, using I got those raises I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna just like butter up the. So <laughs> like, uh, just like find the most socially affluent looking person. Like, and you know, Vespucci is good at things like intimidation and empathy. Yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna try to like get people to empathize with the king, I guess, by yeah. explaining so his side of the situation. Well, empathy is used for if you're receiving. trying to find out if someone's lying. Yeah. Oh. Finding out the truth and stuff like that. Never mind. In that case, you have some hard points. Um, like, may maybe like. Diplomacy but or tempt, then? What's tempt? Like, what's the, the description for tempt? Tempt is, uh, as it says here, um, used for uh, tempt when you bribe someone to do something for you they really shouldn't. Use tempt when you convince someone to give you a little one-on-one -on -one alone time. No, okay. So not that. <laughs> like, it actually gives, like, some things that I would expect you to use. And in your case, it would be intimidation to intimidate. Okay. And like uh, empathy to find out um, if people are lying and things like that. Dominica, do you know what you're doing? Mm -hmm. I wanna, um, I wanna use my wit. I wanna start. I wanna go in the middle of the dance floor and like. For you, be it would be for you. It would be like diplomacy and tempt. Are the two skills that would probably be the most used for you? Yeah. In this situation. Diplomacy. Um, All right. And then, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your dice pool. You're gonna roll your dice. You're gonna see how many raises you get. Yeah. And then from that, you'll spend those raises to do things like you did in combat. Yeah. But these are more like so. If you want to dance, you could spend a raise that for the dance and you know have it do things like you know if you used. Um, diplomacy or something like that, you could use it as an opening and, you know, get people to talk to. Um, but of course, you know, if you do something that's dramatically off on a different skill, it could cost you two raises. Like, an additional raise for using a skill you didn't declare as your part of your role. Okay, well, I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? Do you know what you're doing? What are you doing over there? For you, it uh, suggests... Uh, Deception and knowledge law. Yeah, that's kind of what it's going to yeah. question. So I had a, uh, so a couple questions. So the people that are here, are they the same faith as most of us? Yeah. So they're all uh, not esteemed? Yeah. All right, cool. And of course, then you have advantages here. And uh, like, there, you all have a lot of advantages that could be useful here. Oh, yeah. And don't, like, you can use more than one as well. You're not okay. just stuck to using one advantage. Cool. Okay, um, so I'll go first, I guess. Yeah? Okay. Well, you're all uh, making your dice pool. Sure. So what are you using? So I'm going to use my knowledge of tactics mm -hmm. and my wits. And your wits. So I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the red room where all the trophies are. Well before you do that, yep. like you don't do any of that yet. Mm -hmm. You're just using all your wits and your tactics. Oh okay. Alright. So you're making the dice pool for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you've not used tactics. You've not. So you get a bonus dice. Check. Uh, do you have any advantages? Yes, I have a reputation. So this is a social risk. I'll be in two bonus dice because yep. everyone knows who I am. Yeah. <laughs> what about other ones? Uh, confidants in the military. Connections. Uh, no connections. Well, it's. I thought it was connections military. No, it's confidants. Oh, confidants yeah. military. Sorry. Yeah. Confidence of people I trust. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's Hans and Franz now. <laughs> but they're not here. Yeah. Okay. Hans and Franz. It's actually meant to be connections military things on that sheet. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, well. I have connections Because it's connections with military here. Yeah. The, the very first line is you have a connection with particular, yeah. Yeah, it's connections with. Okay. Um, All I have is dual skilled, so. I'm gonna ask again if anybody's got one of those. You have them poison, kids. Well, yeah, but that's, that's, that's only gonna come up if I 
eat poison somehow. Drink like a man. Yeah, like you don't have these don't have to be <laughs> things that add into your role. They could be things that come up in the scene itself. Right. And like, so your dual skill might not give won't give you any bonus to your. I know. But these I'm are just wondering if there are any people with a a pen. Potentially, okay. as you mingle and find and out. I can see yeah. if this is a person. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to spend my heroic point on Dominica so she can have three extra dice on her roll. Whoa. Okay, yeah, you can also spend hero points on her. Oh, then. Oh All right. man. So if you spend it's it on yourself, you get one bonus die. If you spend a hero point on someone else, they get three. Yeah, but you have the you have the friend at court, so, so why I'm giving would you my point ever to spend it on yourself? Wait, because so you you're have giving to be me able to this so that I don't have to spend it? Work Sorry? out how you're no, 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 no. I'm giving you three bonus dice on your roll. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Yes. But I feel like you have the best chance because this is your hometown, so my bonus point's going to you. Could I bless myself? And of course, like... Dominica, uh, Dominica, Dominica. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the other thing. Fate witches can't affect themselves. Aww. But it, can another fate witch affect another fate witch? Yes, but the backlash is worse. Okay. Whoa. So it is possible. No, it's possible, whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But it, whoa. it's quite bad. You're going to get wrecked. But the risk is it. probably worth it. Mm. Might want to you check yourself, buddy. Yeah. Right, so I got my dice and I've, I've got my uh, hero points spent. What, what is everyone so, else? And obviously, you can only spend a hero point for one, like, mm. other than activating advantages and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, I spend. I'm spending. So when you attempt to use your reputation, you get a bonus die. So that's mm -hmm. this one. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. hold on. So diplomacy, wit. Yeah. The bonus die, the three bonus dies, the new, never used that before. Yeah. And then description. Yeah. Oh, description. Yeah. Uh, diplomacy. Oh, and then when you're at a ball feast, spend a hero point to reveal you have a close friend. Which kind we of did. did that. Yeah, you did yeah. that. Yeah. That actually is helpful too. It does that. Okay. So. I like this. this is you, good. using your um, uh, knowledge roll. Yep. Or your deception. Um. Well. I would like to use knowledge raw. Okay. And what was the other? What was the trait that I'm rolling with there? It's up to you. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. Because so then in this kind of thing, it's how you wish to do it. Okay. So, so I'm not going to say, like, so panache, but don't think that you have to use panache. You could do, like, uh, wits or resolve or finesse or brawn. You can even use yeah. brawn and stuff like that on these. I just want to have the most amount of maximum dice I can roll here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that? Uh, nine dice. For what? What skill and what trait? So, uh, I'm going to use Knowledge Law mm -hmm. and Panache mm -hmm. to, you know, convince these people why we should support Chuckles over here. It sound, it <laughs> but, sound but why does Knowledge Law help? I'm a golden bear for sure. Pardon? But why does Knowledge okay. Law help? Um, so the Knowledge oh, Law, I feel, would help in that you it. give, we'll it's more, like, show why this type of diplomacy would uh, work and how it benefits everyone and just... You mean this golden... Yeah. Liberty? Yeah. How, like, you know, following the letters of the law will be more useful to us okay. than a bloody coup. Cool. So you're arguing persuasively. Yeah, I'm arguing persuasively through the law. Nice. Uh, and you said everybody's here with faith, our, our same faith, technically? Yeah. Cool, so I get two bonus dice for that and two bonus dice for uh, my... We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Well, well, so before you roll any dice... That's We're going to call it right here. Yeah. Mm. And we'll see you next week. All right. We'll where they week. actually like start to work for the uh, the grand ball and find out what's going on. See if they can find any allies. I'm marking down how many dice. Oh yeah. Two, yeah. Four, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. And you'll have I, I your have no bodyguard who will be doing something. Hmm? Oh, no, I was just saying. He wrote down how many dice he needs. 
yeah. for the roll. I don't know. I don't yeah. know yet. So no. I'll pay that. All right. So thanks everyone for watching tonight. Uh, that's it until next week. Uh, again, thank you, Mona, Jeremy, thank you all. Yeah. You. Me. Yeah, you. Thank or you. you. Yeah, Sorry. you. Thank you, you. And no, no, you. Yeah. 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 Them. Every. <laughs> thanks to all the not to them. All right. No, thanks everyone no for watching thanks. and subscribing. Uh, for we're having a giveaway as well, so you can win some sweet shit and awesome stuff. Uh, we're giving away Magic the Gathering stuff or Gloomhaven or uh, Warhammer yeah. Fantasy Warhammer. Warhammer. Roleplay. Oh, Collector's Edition. edition. Collector's Edition. That's right. So That's right. Uh, press the exclamation key and giveaways, which I'll do right now. It's a give it's giveaway, right? Boom. Yeah, there we go. So click that. Set you up. Until next week. Have a good one. Say bye, everyone. Bye, bye everyone. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go back to pre-roll. And give it like...